Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we were here, we just came back from uh, the Mystic Era or whatever. And now we're heading towards the future. Back to the future now. So we're going to take the Dactyls over to the Mystic Mountains, and then I'm just going to cut over to where we're going to be uh, once we get to uh, the end of time, because that's where we're going to want to go next. Alright, so I'll join you guys back here momentarily. Hey there everybody, welcome back, and uh, I switched out my party real quick to Luca and Frog just for, you know, to have a new party. Don't get me wrong, I like Ayla and Robo, it's just that, you know, right now we don't really care for them, because they're like three levels higher than everybody else, so... Now that the Pillar of Light is sealed, you'll be needing something can, that can transport you through time. I recall someone working on such a device, the Wings of Time, I believe it's called. I'm afraid he became a little tad psychotic. <laughs> I'd imagine so. Yeah, so. We want to head to Robo's time now. Do we want to bring Robo? Maybe, I don't know. And since most of the time portals are sealed off now, we need to uh, go to the Protodome. No biggie. No, nothing, nothing to sweat about here. I hope. Alright, so let's head this way. Let's head this away and that away in all sorts of ways. Uh, also... I didn't bring it up when I first started, but heal before you go into the to the cave or to the uh, to the ruins there, or not the ruins, the area towards the uh, Mystic Mountain because you'll die if you don't. Um, you st you come back at one HP after your uh, after your little bout with um, what's the word for it? After your little bout with um. Oh dear, I can't even remember what it's called now. <sighs> what is it called? Uh, after you're about with the golem. So yeah, you'll have no HP. You'll be like 1 HP. Very quick to death. Yeah, this is the easiest way to get back though, is just racing this guy. Oh, of course. Of course. Alright, let's try that again. I actually think you get prizes for, uh... For doing that. Oh, thank you, phone, for going off right now. Actually, let's see who that is while we're racing, since I can't really do anything till the end anyway. Oh. Facebook. That's what I like. I don't have friends, I just have Facebook. Ah, damn you! You know what? You are a dirty racer. <laughs> Alright, so read about here. There we go. That's how we cheat. That's how we cheat. You wait till the end, and then you cheat. I don't think you get rewards for beating that guy, though. And we want to head over towards the Aerostome? No. I think we want to go all the way back to the beginning. Or do we want to go... Th no, we want to go through the sewer access, actually. There's an item back at the beginning, though. If you're into that sort of thing. But you know how we were here earlier? Well, actually... We need to go back through this, this area of hell. And at this point, everything's going to be easy as cake. He's one-hit everything. For the most part. Frog and Luca need the uh the TP or whatever, the tech points anyway, so. Um you can't equip the Aeon Blade, I don't think, on Frog. Um not that you'd really want to. The Masamune is still a really good piece of equipment at this point in the game. Uh, it's not till later on that we're going to want to start switching it out. Later on being around... Not too far, actually, from here. So look forward to that. Alright, so if you head up here... If you did not go through here yet, um... Check out my video. Uh, I'll post it in the description, but, uh... They'll... There's a... Wait, you were supposed to go through there earlier in the game. Hmm... 
please do not disturb my slumber. Okay. I'll just open up the door then. To those who open the door, I am Balthazar, the guru of reason. I once lived in the kingdom of Zeal. A great disaster in Zeal somehow threw me into this era. To my surprise, Lavos exists here and, I suspect, in other periods as well. Aeons ago, Lavos descended from the heavens. Burrowing deep into the world's core, he began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. Lavos disappeared briefly when he was summoned away by a mighty wizard who lived in Guardia in the year 600. In 1999, Lavos claims this area and reigns from high atop Death Peak. Lavos continues to replicate. Like a giant parasite, he is consuming our world. Forced to live here, I continue to conduct research on Lavos, but I am growing old, and it's impossible to keep sane in such trying times. So before I lose it completely, I shall safeguard my data and my ultimate creation. How I long to return home, but I have grown frail. So you, you who have opened the door, I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself do you stand against Lavos. The odds will be against you, but you are true heroes. The, the heroes is misspelled there. I don't know why that really bothers me. <laughs> huh, so let's head here. What the hell is this thing? This must be the invention Balthazar spoke of. This moves through time? I guess. If you try to leave, this guy's like, nope, you ain't going nowhere. Because I've got the seats. Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Anyway, there's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press Y for the time gauge. Then use L and R buttons to select an era. Oh yeah, before you go, why don't you... Name my time machine. We're gonna go with Epoch, just because, you know, why not? Plus, there's not enough room for kick ass space machine. Hmm. So let's head in here. Let's get out of here. So now we have this, like, time dial, so we can go to any era in the time, and it'll take us there. Uh, but we want to go towards the Dark Ages. I don't remember that hallway being that long, but okay. What's happening? Traveling at warp speed. Going to ludicrous speed. No, oh, space balls. Alright, so now we're back here at the year... 2000? 12,000? So here's the cave where the time portal's locked off. Huh, I wonder if there's any way to get back up to that place. What the hell is going on there? Eh, yeah, we'll worry about that later. So let's take that machiney thing to go back up here. Machiney thing. I am specific as hell in this game, aren't I? The power is sealed. What? What kind of garbage is that? So it looks like we can't go that way. So let's head back the other way. On this great space coast. No. We're not even on the Epoch, so I can't even sing that song. I guess we can only go in this Terra Cave. Whatever that means. Earth Cave, by the way. <laughs> Derp. Oh, look at these guys. This is Al Getty, the village of the Earthbound Ones. We earth by ones lack magical powers, that's why we're banished from zeal. You don't say. It sucks to be you guys. At least they manage the art of uh, fine living with those chairs here. Yes, I want to buy something. So you get the demon edge, the common arrow, the mega blast, the megaton arm, and the flash blade. Uh, the lumen robe, I'm actually going to want to pick up a couple of those. 
and we're almost broke, so it's good equipment here. You're just gonna go broke buying it all. So I'm gonna grab that, then I'm gonna uh, grab the. Hmm. Don't really need anything else, honestly. I guess I can grab. of these. Let's equip these. Flash mail. Flash! Ah. Yeah, let's give them the uh, lumen robes. Give him the meso mail, I guess. She doesn't need it. Did I get any better helmets? No. Oh well. So that's all we got for right now. Since I can't afford anything else. Hmm. Apparently they were all taken to the Ocean Palace. We really gotta get our hands... Gotta get a good... Yeah. Gotta get our hands on something... Some way to get to the Ocean Palace. Lock the guru... 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 Guru of life. Hmm. I see. I like the uh, infrastructure going on in this cave. Yeah, I wonder where Mich oh Michelle comes down here apparently. You don't say. So apparently the gurus are even respected down here. The beast nest. We're in the belly of the beast. Yes, I want to spend the night. I still think Luke is really cute with her hair out. Then again, there I go talking about video game characters as if they're real peoples. I need to stop doing that. We get it, Mountain of Woe, banishing. Huh, the Mountain of Woe is that floating thing I guess we saw. Break the seal, so let's go. I believe there's a boss fight coming up here, but we get a power tab, so let's give that to somebody. I'm gonna make power meal. Okay. Magic tab, we'll give that to Lucka. <laughs> Lucka. Organize, use. So it should be up here, power tab. We'll give that to Chrono. Because Chrono needs the power too, alright? It's about spreading the wealth here. For boss time. Trying to remember how to beat these guys. I remember they're a pain in the ass. Oh no, wait. No, these guys aren't that bad. It's what comes after these guys. Let's try our napalm. Seriously seizure inducing. Oh, their attack power's up, so don't use lightning on them. I guess when you attack them in general, it does that. Huh. Alright, you can attack. Ow. I love those critical hit counters. They make me happy. Yeah, so as you continue going on, we're gonna come and come across a boss battle, so I'm gonna hold off on that for this time. And I'll join you guys back here next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been Millennium Jester, signing out. Have a nice day.